I'm Marilyn Stowe and I am the senior partner of the largest specialist family law firm in the country. I started off as uh, somebody who was very interested in uh, European law and commercial law and then gradually moved into family law as uh, I became a mum. The intention was that it would be something for me to do as a housewife and a mum and a part-time lawyer. But what actually happened was the practice grew and um, it's quite something to come back and see where it all began. The office began as a converted cobbler shop. It uh, was painted pillar box red. It had two little rooms downstairs. And I remember we had to go to the council to get planning consent to be able to use the upstairs. And eventually we grew to such a point where there was just no room left in that tiny little office. But it has enormous memories for me because it was a time that was very happy. It was very frenetic. Um, they were great people in Halton. They were salt of the earth. The shopkeepers, all of them became clients. The people that lived round and about became clients. Uh, not all of them were on the right side of the law, but even those that weren't were actually local scallies. And uh, in a way, I was sorry to leave, but I had no choice because we'd completely outgrown it. A building became available along the parade and we moved in. And I remember when we moved in, thinking we were never ever going to fill it because it was so big. And within a very short period of time, we, we were bursting out of that as well. And so we moved and we moved to Harrogate. A lot of people ask me why I wanted to be a solicitor and I have to say that uh, I was guided in that direction by my parents uh, who made the suggestion when I was about five and I have at home a little book, a little booklet that I wrote where there's a picture of me wearing a wig and gown and uh, it says my daddy wants me to be a barrister and I'd spelt the word barrister wrongly because I didn't know what that was and uh, if I become a barrister, he will stand on the highest church in Leeds and say, my Marilyn's a barrister. Well, I decided actually to be a solicitor because I thought that I would prefer people contact. And um, that's what I did. But I certainly owe it to them and uh, the sacrifices they made to send me uh, to an expensive school that they couldn't really afford uh, so that I'd get a very good education. My father and mother were great people people they liked meeting people and i think i've inherited that i've also inherited it from my grandfather and grandmother my grandfather ran a sweet stall in leeds market and i used to go and work there and my grandmother was a journalist and she was a great writer and she used to also meet lots of people so i think the emphasis on client care, client contact, being at ease with clients, which is something I'm very hot on in the firm, I think came from everything that I'd seen in my family. I have faced a lot of challenges in my career. I've had some very difficult cases to deal with, but I think the greatest challenge that I took on was one that I took on voluntarily, and that was to see if I could help Sally Clark, who was a fellow solicitor who went to prison for the murder of her two infant babies. And when I read about the case, I didn't believe that she'd done it. And it didn't add up, it didn't make sense. And so I wrote to Steve Clark after her appeal to the Court of Appeal was dismissed and said, if I could possibly help at all, I'd be very delighted to do so. I obtained from the hospital a report, a microbiology report, which showed that the second child had died from a virus. And this completely altered the whole of the case. A second appeal was eventually um, before the Court of Appeal and she was released. Um, she was in prison for three years and it must have been horrific. Thank you.
The business is growing, um, client satisfaction rates are very high, um, we are opening offices all over the country and it's a very exciting time, it's fantastic. I've been doing this a lot longer than you might think and I don't think you can acquire the experience that I've got overnight. And I want to use my experience to grow the firm and I'd like to see it still there long after I've ultimately decided to retire, but I'm not retiring yet. Thank you.